Hi, this is a quick video on how to update your Zillow leads rapidly. When a lead comes in, they will appear in your Zillow app CRM. And you'll notice right at the top here, it says new. It's important within the first one or two minutes after the call that you change the status of that lead to the next status. Don't go down four statuses at once. If you meet with them, make sure you check on attempted contact, spoke with customer, appointment set, and so on. Each of these statuses enters information into a data field, and it's really important to keep all of your data fields up to date so that Zillow understands you did attempt contact, you did speak with the customer, you did make an appointment. The technology does not make an assumption you went through those stages just because you are showing them homes. So make sure you update the status promptly after the end of a call. Also, you need to go into the notes and where it says view all, you can see I entered uh, notes in here uh, to because uh, the agent needed my support, okay? So right here in the notes, put in the notes what you have done for the client. That's important when we spearhead to see what you're doing and are you progressing the client? Let's talk about that term progressing the client. What we want to see is that you're able to answer issues promptly. Most important, we want to see that you're able to set an appointment with that client. Traditional real estate has had realtors say, when I've got the financing paperwork, when I've had them pre-qualified, when in this case I found out if there's a container uh, permit needed for the lot, then I'll progress it to the next stage. What's important is to make that appointment and say, hey, while I'm checking that out for you, let's meet at this property and why don't I show you a couple of others similar to it? So it's setting appointments while you're finding out data. Old real estate thinking is, let me get all the data, then I'll meet with you. I need you guys to flip that upside down and meet with the client before you have the data. And then in that period of time between meeting them and now, you collect as much data as possible. They will appreciate that diligence. So number one, right at the top here, change the status. Make sure you use all the steps. Number two, Go to the notes, make sure you add the notes. And number three, make sure you progress them to the next stage. Now I want to show you one other thing. All of the new Zillow leads that come in also drop into your Chime CRM. So you now need to go to your Chime CRM, which you should have on your, um, uh, your screen, when you, your home screen, sorry, uh, on your cell phone. And you can see here this Denise Calderon came into the Chime app. Now you can manage her from there. So you're going to tap on Denise Calderon and there she is. At the bottom, you're going to immediately add an appointment or you're going to add a property or you're going to add a property search to that client. Super, super important that you add a property search to that client, okay? So here is the client. Now let's have a look here. At the bottom here, you can see the speech bubble that we're all familiar with, with multiple apps, okay? So we're gonna tap on that speech bubble. And we're gonna attach on the client, tap on the client's number, and we can see that client has been speaking to the AI. First of all, the AI responds to her as soon as the call comes in. So make sure you let your clients know that there will be a virtual assistant that will be talking to them. And anytime they want that virtual assistant to stop talking to them, they can ask you for that. But let people know it's important to them and to us that we don't miss a single question. Sure enough, this client did ask a question. I'd like to know if I could put a container on that lot. That was at 8.51 a.m., right? So I saw that come in and the AI responded and then I responded personally at 8.59 saying, I'll check with planning on Monday. Now it's back to the real estate agent to make that appointment and show that property, okay? So you can tap at the top here on the left that takes you back to the client. Okay, what we'll do in this case is we'll make sure that the agent who received this has access to this information and
and away you go. And here's the piece of land the client was interested in. Okay, I hope this helps. Thank you very much.